And now we're going to talk about our next topic. Taco Bell sued for false advertisement. Are you telling me Taco Tuesday isn't real? Not quite, <laughs> but the crunch wraps and Mexican pizzas look 50% larger in the advertisements. Oh my god. Versus in um like real life. Like the IRL <laughs> Mexican oh pizzas and crunch wraps are way smaller. And from experience, I can agree. Like the, Do you look at the pictures and you believe that? Uh, I mean, but oh, okay. they're using false advertisements. So okay, okay, go. a man, uh, well, not accused, he, he um, is suing Taco Bell for false advertisement because the beef advertised in these meals looks about 50% more in the pictures. Hmm. And he's saying that the, the foods in the ads are deceiving customers and that in this time where inflation is going up and they want to go get like a good amount of food and then they see the Taco Bell serving all these like crunch wraps, Mexican pizzas, burritos, and they look all full with all, all this different food inside of them. And then you get the actual thing and you're like, Hey, that's not the same thing as what I saw. He's saying that it's like deceptive, which, you know, I feel like in the in the comment in the, oh in the bottom god. part, it's always asterisks. You know this too. Oh my god! And it says like it's not it, yeah, actual the, size, is, not portrayed, whatever. Yeah, that's what it says on the little side. It's in the smallest font. By it the is way, very small. Say. Every place has it. Even like packaged goods say not actual size. Mm -hmm. So this person seeks five million dollars from Taco Bell. That's a lot. Uh, Taco Bell has not responded yet to this, but I think most people understand that advertisements of different things are not real have you seen um the uh the way that they create these ads for um fast food oh, and it's all fake it's not yes. even real food yes i have seen that have yes, you seen right. the one where they take um cereal and the cereal is poured into glue yes i have seen that because and i was like glue, what yes it's because of the glue is whiter Yes. Yeah. But it is like a like it, and it doesn't move as much. It doesn't have like the bubbles and stuff like normal milk does. It's just perfectly white glue. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy. But yes, if anyone has ever been to a fast food place, um, they're like you could tell right away mm -hmm. their menu items do not look anywhere close to what you're actually eat um eating or getting because. One example would be McDonald's. Yes. If you look at McDonald's menu, the McDonald's is, is universal. It's almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. When you go to a McDonald's and you get like a Big Mac or something like that, it's not going to look like the picture. No, no, no. Yes, it is not going to look like the picture. It's not going to look like anything close to it. But it's just like the tempered expectations. I would actually say that you mentioned about them having less meat. And in a, in a time yeah. where inflation is rising, I would say, even argue that they would cut back even more than what this yes. guy is originally yes. predicting. So the crazy thing is that I think the appearance is not the issue. Because like, okay, you know, like they're going fast. They need to make it as fast as possible. But I think the issue is what you're hinting at is the pro like portion control. So I used to work in fast food or, or like, yeah, in yeah, the food yeah. industry. Yeah. And it's very regulated how much, because like each time you do put a scoop, it's like you put one scoop of this. Like you don't put any more. You like, what, like this is what you need to do. And then to make it taste like this, even though like maybe you'd want to like, you know, give them a bit more. It's like, no, you need to give them the correct amount. Otherwise, like they're not going to get as much margin because you're using more ingredients to make yeah. the food making the food cost more and reducing the like um the bottom you know like yeah it's 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 all it's it's all dependent because yes like what you mentioned it is very calculated on how much is being served because mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's a business and it has to make money mm -hmm. so they're making money off of the portion that they're serving you because yes. what they're serving you is still making them money even if it could be a larger amount mm -hmm. it's still gonna make them money if, if it's a smaller amount even more money i don't so the crazy thing is that oh this is like a different portion but um they make most of their money from drink sales 
Because the drinks are the cheapest. Yeah, the drinks cost a couple of cents, I guess, mm-hmm. so over time. It costs a couple of cents for them, and they charge like a dollar. No, well, I yeah, mean, that's like that. more, more than a dollar. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you get like a, a freeze or something, it's like maybe like $3. And it's like plus. ice and sugar. Yeah, it's just like, just, yeah, syrup. So if you think that Taco Bell is in the wrong or in the right, leave it down below in the comments and we'll. Like we'd like to see your things. And if you like this type of content, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and follow us on this journey. We post videos daily. And if you like this type of content, we'd appreciate you joining us. I will tell you that I have never had a Mexican pizza. Really? Still? I've never had a Mexican Even pizza. Even though they brought it back? Even though they brought it back, I've hmm. never had a Mexican pizza. So, But let us know in the comments down below if you have had one. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's definitely not as much as like the... I feel like... Okay, I will say this, that it looks better in the advertisements oh my god okay we didn't doja cat. yeah oh, we're not gonna watch our other video on doja cat, but <laughs> doja yeah, cat advertising oh, me- mexican pizzas okay that's it that's it no more. <laughs> no more no more no more